uh, welcome to the data future channel this is Shaker and I am a data scientist so in this particular session we are going to develop a time series model which can forecast the wind for future 10 days or future month okay so that uh, we will get the idea about the weather in future so for that uh, we are using the time series data uh, weather data actually okay so let's get started with the Jupyter notebook so here I have to import some of the packages so simple packages are pandas numpy here the stats models dot api as asm or matplotlib okay uh, these are the simple packages next one I have to load the data I'm using a weather data here and I will going to see uh, first five rows and in that there is a time stamp is there so data and the time and uh, here these are the attributes of the data uh, weather parameters temperature dew point temperature relative humidity uh, wind speed visibility pressure and here is the weather okay so we are going to select only the um, wind speed here so I'm selecting the time stamp and the wind speed wind speed and you can see this time uh, that the readings are taken at every one hour so for a day there will be a 24 uh, readings so these, these are the wind speed in kilometer per hours and we are starting from uh, 2012 so we can check uh, this is the date and this is the um, number of records are 8784 almost okay so I want to see uh, what is the last one because these are the first few records but I want to see the last uh, uh, last rows tail is this so you can see um, almost it's the one year data is present uh, we have started from January uh, 1st of 2012 to uh, 31st uh, December 2012 okay you can see uh, so this these are the 8784 records two columns uh, you can see the data types uh, date is the object means it uh, it kind of uh, string we can say and this is the integer we can check also null values there are no null values present in the data set we can check the duplicates also yes there is um, no any abnormality in the data so we can start with uh, some formatting so first we have to format the date because date is the string so we have to convert into a date time okay uh, so I'm giving the um, the column as a na uh, date and I'm converting this date column into a date time okay now you can see that uh, this tf1 I have created and uh, now you can see uh, what is the df1 d types not a types okay so you can see here is the date time so we have converted the string into a date time this is integer okay so here you can see the last 20 240 records means almost uh, these records are for 10 days okay so one day is 24 it's 10 days uh, we will set this data date as a column uh, so that what will happen so you can see here df dot this thing yes now wind speed is the only column and this is the our date is the index so we can visualize the data simply we will plot and we'll give the figure size so we'll get the nice line plot here yes you can see here uh, from January to December you will get the uh, the variation of wind uh, per day actually per day and per hour okay that's fine yes so next one is to build the Arima model so Arima is um, uh, autoregressive 
integrated moving average model okay so where there are three parameters are very important pdq okay so these three parameters take care of everything okay so uh, what we can say it's a uh, uh, auto regressive then integrated and ma uh, to fit the time series data with seasonal uh, arima model our first goal is to find the values of pdq and pdqs that optimize the matrix of interest we will use the grid search to iteratively uh, explore the different combination of parameters and so that we can fit into this uh, Sarimax uh, Arima model by using a Sarimax function so uh, here we our main aim is to find out the what are the best values for uh, for Arima model so that it will give the best results okay and uh, here what I'm doing so I'm considering the three parameters 0 1 uh, in the range of 0 1 okay and uh, considering these uh, PDQ values okay now I'm uh, using this PDQ this is the list and seasonal uh, uh, PDQ uh, I'm using uh, this is this is the uh, the list comprehension okay and finally what we get is this result so this combination will get 001 001 12 001 010 012 010 uh, such kind of uh, combinations we will get here right now uh, these combinations we are checking for everything okay to find out the best parameter and uh, using Salimac function so here we are considering the AIC so a kick information criterion which uh, uh, which value will be conveniently recurrent by the Arima model fitted using the stat model so AIS measures the how well model fit the data while taking into consideration of overall complexity of the data and the finally we are selecting a model with the lowest AIC value okay so we are using this and we are putting this uh, into our uh, uh, iterations so that we'll get the best value of AIC okay so here I am I have created the for loop for PDQ param in PDQ so we know that what is the PDQ so you can see PDQ uh, what exactly you can see so these are the combinations 0010001010 something like this and what is the seasonal pdq so seasonal pdq you can uh, see this combination okay this combination so we have to consider first and compare with all these three and check the aic score then you have to take second and then compare with all these things like this so we are using here uh, sm stats model tsa dot stat space dot sarimax function here i am providing the data frame which i am using here df1 and uh, second one order is the parameters params so param means uh, these values okay and seasonal order is the param seasonal means i am checking this and the info stationarity is false info invertibility is false then after that uh, i am going to fit the model we'll get the results and uh, i'll check the what is the lowest aic value and after fitting that you can see that it is doing lot of iterations here and what i found is that um, here the lowest value is in 51000 uh, somewhere uh, here 51,000 um, you can see where it is 51,700 uh, okay I need to find out where is the 51,000 the lowest value this is 51 okay I think this is the the lowest value 51,400 
34 that is the lowest value here and I have to select these parameters for the Arima model so I'm building a model by using this Cerimax and I'm using this order right so and uh, I'm building a best model I'm fitting this best model and I ha I'll get the summary from that particular model yes it will take certain time okay this summary is nothing but uh, how these uh, parameters are important or significant for the model building so that the summary it will print here okay so um, so you can see here so let it be let it display uh, the results okay yes you can see the coefficients then the this is the hypothesis testing here the most of the cases the p is value is uh, lower than 0 0.05 means uh, the all the coefficients are significant one okay so we will retain this uh, in uh, all in our model okay next one is we will do the model diagnosis so and we will uh, plot this the model diagnosis um, by using a result dot plot diagnosis and here it is so you can see that uh, the top uh, right here you can see this the KDE plot is matching with this normal distribution so your model is performing well QQ plot is here this QQ plot is following this red line means again this um, residuals are normally distributed uh, in top left also uh, these residuals are uh, 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 the don't display any obvious signality and appear is the voice uh, appears to be a white noise this is confirmed that this is the autocorrelation is present here and uh, this is the plot this plot will give you uh, what which shows the time series they should have low correlation with the lagged uh, lagged versions of itself okay lagged version of itself there is a low autocorrelation is present okay so this is all about the model diagnosis model is working fine so we have to validate the results so for that we have to create a confidence interval so i am using a result dot gate predictions and i am starts with this uh, date so date is 2012 okay and uh, uh, I'll check the what is the confidence interval so it is giving uh, I'm checking for f uh, last uh, um, 10 days actually so I have started from here 22nd uh, of uh, December 2012 okay and I'm getting the uh, lower uh, and lower limit and upper limit okay this is about the confidence interval and uh, next one is um, we want the actual and predicted values so why predicted will be the predict I mean spread dot the spread dot uh, predicted mean and uh, we have to use it from this okay so and uh, the truth values um, the predicted values and true value okay so what will give uh, the predicted values and these are the actual values so from this we'll get the what how much uh, error is difference between the actual values and the predicted one okay here you can see so for that um, you can calculate uh, this but before that you can uh, plot it this predicted values and actual values by using this with the confidence interval okay uh, so here for last 10 days you can plot it and uh, this is the confidence interval you can see in the gray and uh, um, wind speed actual wind speed is this uh, the uh, blue one and uh, uh, this uh, the orange line shows the uh, one step ahead forecast okay so this is the actual and the predicted values you can see here right so this is one 
and uh, next one is um, yes now next one is the uh, what are the errors so errors are mean squared error actually so mean squared error is nothing but simply we have to subtract these two values the actual and predicted values and we have to uh, take uh, uh, take the uh, uh, we have to square this and uh, we have to take the mean of this okay so you will get the mean squared error is 21.09 and uh, root mean squared error is uh, 4.59 so errors are less means our prediction is correct okay so next one is uh, here you can do the forecasting for next 10 days what will be the wind speed in the next 10 days one for that i am using pred use okay result dot gate prediction and step size is 240 240 means 240 hours okay means for 10 days and uh, here we are having the future forecasting for this uh, 10 days right means 240 records will be there and you can show it on the our visual graphs uh, so that you at the end you can see uh, there is a uh, here uh, you can see there is a red line will show you uh, the predicted values in the future okay so you uh, our model is working fine with the less uh, less amount of error means uh, 21 is mean squared error and root mean is 4.59 so model is working fine so uh, what will be the what will be the the average wind speed on the 9th of january 2013 because we are having a uh, to, uh, 2012 data so 2013 uh, 9th uh, uh, the, what will be the wind speed average wind speed on 9th january 2013 that we have to do so here you can see this is the uh, the feature index feature uh, wind speed wind speed okay and uh, we have to select this for uh, uh, that particular uh, uh, day and for that i am selecting this uh, 23 records out of that and i am taking a mean of that okay so you can check so 15 will be the mean of that particular case okay so i am selecting the uh, the the span of uh, 9th uh, 9th january 9 january so i'll getting uh, the 24 records uh, from here okay i'll show you uh, here itself so jan 9 what you will get here you can see uh, january 9 will get this 24 records and i'm taking a mean of this okay so what you can do you can simply just put these values here okay and take a mean of this so mean you will get the 15.30 uh, so what is the average speed on the 9 january uh, uh, which is predicted by the model is 15.3 km per hour so likewise we can uh, forecast the any uh, uh, the weather parameter in future that may be the temperature that may be the wind speed that may be the pressure that may be the relative humidity maybe the dew point temperature if you are having a time series data for historic data then based on the different models here i have used the arima model but uh, most of the models uh, the the, uh, the the advanced models are also available to predict the the future based on the time series data so for this particular video that's all from my side thanks for watching and please uh, do subscribe this channel to motivate me to create the more interesting contest, uh, content contents like this uh, thank you thanks a lot